At last we speak. I am Master Ostergaal, Keeper of the Jedi Archives, and a close friend of your Master. Your Master told me you displayed great potential on Tython, but the trials of a Padawan will not define you. You have my attention. Jedi departing Tython have always chosen a path. I became a Keeper of Knowledge. Others became tacticians, or pursued the true diplomatic arts. But these are not paths I foresee for you. Your strength suggests two paths. You could devote yourself to the healing techniques of the Force, the defense of the weak, or you could join the secret arm of the Jedi Order. Such followers use the Force to evade detection and defend the Republic covertly. When you are ready, Master Dinaroth will draw this phase of your training to a close. Can you offer me a final word of guidance? The Archives speak of a great Jedi who shaped the galaxy for the better. Whatever your decision, aspire to their example. Now go forth. Choose your path within the Force, and make your master proud. Kabanotase makipuna, malituta odmishka. Patoga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. Poya toka changa goptula do bata wana wanki. I find that most intriguing. Pampa wula ji ota kakoka huta no pisto. Chikos pa ini kudad iji gliska chanagawa. I sense possibilities here. Wo grani tampi o da pushi wompa. Pu tula musta. Chaskruni do pat kuri ra. Do kanki kung. Bim kanaya nugan. E jinim naya lak umnan mege. Bomo gala apayan. Nilama imi amka anga. Kala jiwa nimok. E bemgam nyama naya aikam. That makes sense to me. Mem ilik meraka naya naram. Kam kalu amik manik. Mana la yang perlu. Amka kalami naya kira nubua. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi, but I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. I haven't spoken to any members of the crew, but anyone who needs the help of a Jedi will have it. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant. But I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. Since we don't know for sure the Imperials are following us, let's not worry about it. I just wish I could get someone from the crew to answer my questions. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. Telling the passengers that Imperials are nearby would only cause a panic. I suppose. Still, I think it's unsettling to think that there might be Imperials behind us. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands! Bring the incoming! All hands!
The Imperials seem to have forgotten about the treaty. I knew the treaty would break eventually. But I didn't think I'd actually be here to see it. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The Captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go. Hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Come on, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out! Shields are out! Comms are out! There's nothing we can do! The path may not always be clear, but that does not mean there is no path. Why is this Jedi standing on our bridge spouting nonsense? We're in a situation here! Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat! We're as good as dead already! What's wrong with you? Are you really gonna let your ship fall to the Imperials so easily? That ship behind us is one of the biggest in the Imperial fleet. We didn't stand a chance. Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh. Well then put them on. Republic Transport SLS, this is Grand Morph Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We're aware of our situation, Kilrin. Just tell us why you're here. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. <laughs> Interesting. Lying or incompetent, no matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship? I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight those slaughterers, we have to cooperate! It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'll ensure that no Imperial soldiers make it aboard this ship. It's very brave of you to volunteer. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. The Jedi way is to serve. Maybe so, but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. This is it, man. This is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir! No, sir! We won't be fighting alone. We have some very experienced volunteers. The Imps will never know what hit them. The Force will guide us to victory. The Force will be with us, men. We'll be unstoppable. The Imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. Yeah! Yeah! We've done it, men! We've done it! The ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... That isn't the case. We defeated the entire boarding party. Nobody could have slipped past us. No, you're right. It's not you the Imperial slipped past. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. Tell me you're kidding. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. We have to stop the Imperials from gaining control of the ship. That's why I rushed to find you. Something has to be done. 
What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Turning potential enemies into friends spares us unnecessary conflicts. Not all battles can be avoided. But diplomacy can gain us so much more than fighting. But we can talk about my work later. We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. A security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salen might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salen before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Hey, hey, Chief, come here. Come here, look. Look, there's someone out there on the other side of the door. You must be crazy, coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have sealed it off. The Imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed too. Are you going to be safe in there? Do you need help getting out? Getting the bridge back in our control is much more important. Now let's see. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. Resetting the reactor would unlock the bridge? Yeah, but my team and I would get launched into deep space. There are alternatives. The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduit shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths. Not when there's an alternative. Fine. But you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. I make the decisions, Ambassador, not you. Fine. Who am I to argue? You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. The security doors around the bridge have opened. The Force was with me as usual. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't been aboard. Probably locked in an Imperial prison, or worse. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though. And that's no small challenge. What do you know about Iron Fist? I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. Where there's a will, there is a way. I will not fail. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy! This is Narlock. Set for second offensive. That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's make it happen. Good luck.
shuttles in the hangar bay. Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. If this is what must be done to save the people on this ship, then I'll do it. I knew we could count on you. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. Hmm. We need every advantage we can get. It will be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. Sacrificing innocent people is wrong. No matter the reason. You stood up for the lives of my crew, and risked your own instead. I won't forget that. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. What are you suggesting, Hawken? I want you to leave Asara on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape. But Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. Freedom is meaningless, if it's bought with treachery. I'm not interested in high ideals, Jedi. I'm interested in getting people home safe. Just think about it. I'd even make it worth your while if things go the way I'm suggesting. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck. Last, a real live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. You create a conflict that need not exist. We can settle this matter peacefully. I was promised a battle, and I will have it. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. You don't have to continue down the dark path. You can still embrace peace. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. And through passion, I gain strength. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? I had hoped you'd turn back from this madness. 
I had hoped for a Jedi who could provide a true challenge. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? First Officer Hawken doesn't want you to come back from this one, Ambassador. He thinks you'll just cause more trouble. Is this a joke? That spineless, indecisive... He wants you to hand me over to the Imperials? Unbelievable. After everything I've done to save the ship, everything I've done for the Republic, that scum tries to betray me to the Empire. Wait. You didn't actually agree to leave me behind, did you? I wouldn't leave you behind to die, Asara. Good. I was about to... Well, it doesn't matter. Come on, we've wasted too much time here already. Let's go. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. It has been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. Please, keep your credits. I'm sure you all need them more than me. That's extremely gracious of you. Thank you very much. Ambassador Asara, it's... it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. Really? I imagine it comes as a bit of a surprise to see me here at all, Hawken. <laughs> I... I don't know what you mean. Of course I'm glad to see you. Why would you think differently? I just thought the Ambassador ought to know the full facts of the situation. You must have misunderstood me. I would... I would never. I, I wouldn't do something like that. Thank you for telling me the truth. And for everything else you've done here. The Republic needs heroes like you now more than ever. I merely followed the guidance of the Force. Well, whatever it is you do, I'd say keep doing it. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrin is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. If Kilrin thinks he can take us, he's in for a surprise. Just be sure to stay alert from now on. Kilrin is full of surprises. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again. And good luck in the future. <laughs>